Hi, this is Mr. Max. So I am looking at complex quadratic trinomials, how to factorize those. So I have three questions here and uh, surely you can give it a try and then afterwards you can have a go and look at the video again. So the first one is 3x squared plus 7xy plus 2y squared. So the problem normally with this one is there are squares on both ends. And then you have a 4 over 9x squared plus x minus 1. That 4 over 9 is kind of tricky for most students. And the C part is you have the quantity 2x minus y all squared minus 5y times that same quantity of 2x minus y minus 6y squared. So the reason why I brought in A is that there are very good similarities between how one will approach A as well as C. So let me start off by doing a so you see i have no i've highlighted the x square and the y square term here in fact for this particular one i would not even worry too much about that it's quadratic so what you need to do is you need to work on the coefficients so you take the value of three times the value of two that is the ac in the quadratic standard form so three times six, three times two gives you six. So what you're essentially looking for is two numbers that multiply together give you six. And when they are added together, they will give you the seven right here. So I have the number six times one. Take note that six times one is six. And six, add one more, gives you seven. So that means we can split the seven xy term as nothing but six xy plus one xy. Of course, there's no need for you to write the one here. So what you have now is four terms, and you're going to factorize these four terms by taking out common factor, by grouping. So you're going to group them in pairs. So if you take the first two pairs, you realize that 3x is a common factor. And if you take the last two pairs, you realize that y is a common factor. In fact, you are going to be left with a common factor of x plus 2y. So your job is particularly now finished here. So your final answer will be 3x plus y multiplied by x plus 2y. Again, the order in which you write the brackets does not really matter. So let's look at this 4 over 9 x squared plus x minus 1 quadratic trinomial. What the most people don't realize is that the number 4 upon 9 is nothing but 1 upon 9 times 4 upon 9. Okay, so you can actually split that fraction. The reason why I'm doing that is because I want to take out 1 over 9 or 1 upon 9 as a common factor. So the way I'll do that is if I take out 1 over 9, for example, and let me just multiply it back, you'll see that 1 over 9 times 4x squared will give me 4 over 9x squared, and that 1 over 9 times 9x will give me 9 over 9x, which is effectively just another way of writing this 1 here. And then 1 over 9 times negative 9 over 9, again, is going to give me that minus 1 here. So the reason that I'm taking out the 1 over 9 is so that I can deal with the stuff inside this bracket and factorize that the way I've been doing with the other ones. So I'm going to look for two numbers multiplied together give you negative 36. That comes from 4 times negative 9. And when you add those very numbers, they should give you positive 9. So the factors I'm looking for is 12 and negative 3. And since this is a minus sign in front of the constant, it gives the idea or the rule that one number you're looking for should be positive and the other number should be negative. So when you say 12 times negative 3, you get negative 36. And 12 plus negative 3 more will give you 9. So I can split my minus, my 9x term, then with 12x minus 3x. Again, it doesn't matter which one you write first. It's just that I wrote the 12 before the 3 because the 4 and the 12 can go nicely when I factorize them in pairs. So once you factorize in the bracket, you get 4x as a common factor for these two terms and minus 3 as a common factor for the last two terms. So effectively, your job now is done. So the final answer is 1 upon 9 multiplied by the quantity 4x minus 3 multiplied by the quantity x plus 3. 
The last one has got many ways, particularly you have whole quantity here. So it's a hidden quadratic, so to speak, and it's also very similar to the first one I did in terms that you have squares on both ends of the trinomial. So I'm going to get rid of that whole quantity, x minus y. Of course, you can do it another method if you want. And I'm going to let that be replaced by k or any other letter so you wish. It looks a little bit better. But you take note here that 5yk is better perhaps written alphabetically as 5ky. But anyway, I'm now back to something similar like I had in the very first question. So therefore, I'm looking here now for two numbers. When they are multiplied together, they give you negative 6, which is the 1 times the negative 6 to give me that number. And when I add those numbers, it should give me negative 5. It happens to be negative 6 and 1. Negative 6 times 1 gives you negative 6. And negative 6 plus 1 gives you negative 5. So that trial and error issue will always be here when you are factorizing. So I can therefore split the minus 5ky term as minus 6ky plus 1ky. So now I have got four terms, and yet again, I'm going to factorize them by grouping. I'm going to take the first two and the last two. So in the first two terms, k is a common factor. And in the last two terms, y is a common factor. Right, so eventually you end up with the same common factor in both, on both uh, tri or terms. So k minus 6y plus k plus y, but we don't want our equation or trinomial rather in terms of k so you have to put that 2x minus y back where you have the k so from this instance everywhere you have the k you replace it with 2x minus y as a data here in the first place and also in the other bracket so eventually our final answer should be the quantity 2x minus y minus 6 and the quantity 2x minus y plus y now, a lot of people can argue that for this minus y and plus y, you can have perhaps cancel, but let's leave our answer in terms of 2x minus y. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also ask further questions so that I can quickly solve them for you.